is Kimberly Murray and I do the sport skeleton which is a winter ice sliding sport. Um, we're at the University of Bath in the sports training village just now. Um, this is where I trained when I was a student and it's where British uh, bobsleigh and skeleton are based in the UK. Um, so it's my current training ground. I've started my second season as a skeleton athlete and I can't believe the time has gone quite that quickly. It's difficult, there's no track in this country. So I've got camps in Lillehammer, uh, Winterberg in Germany, I'm going out to Lake Placid in America and then back to Germany. And it's all building towards my first race in March, which is in Lake Placid. British Skeleton have got an amazing reputation at the Olympics in this sport. Um, they produce gold medalists and they have done in the past two games and that is where I hope to be for Beijing 2022. I watch Sochi Olympics quite closely. They're really interested in the skeleton because Liz Lizzie Arnold was the big, big British favourite for gold and she delivered. It was shortly after that that I was aware of the Power to Podium talent search for the next skeleton champion that was run by UK Sport. Um, and I just thought, they want in powerful, fast athletes. That's my trade as a long jumper and a sprinter. So I thought it's a paid perform. What's the worst that can happen? Not really sure about this crazy sport, but um, I filled it in. And they cut from a thousand or so applicants down to 10 boys and 10 girls. We went to Lillehammer in Norway, uh, which is actually an Olympic track which was a little bit of a worry because we're like, are we ready for an Olympic track? Um, <laughs> but apparently we were. And then I think it was about day five, one by one, we all took our first ascent. Um, and we led on the sled, there was no running to begin with. We led on the sled, the coach was there. Are you all ready to go? They'd say, and you're like, in your head, no but you say yes, um, and then literally he just moved his foot out of the way of the front of the sled, and you just move, because you're just on ice, you know. I was quite surprised by how quickly I just moved off, and um, our coach had assured us that it was gonna be a trundle um, to begin with, you know, the first part of the track, because it builds speed as you go down. It so did not feel like a trundle. I felt like I was flying, and I was only like one or two corners in. Probably what I remember the most is just my head just being like pushed down into the ice and not being able to do a single thing about it until you're out of the corner and the pressure comes off. And now that I'm into my second season with Skeleton, um, that option of sort of taking unpaid leave and then coming back to work and being here, there and everywhere wasn't really viable. So after discussions with, um, with my bosses and people at work, um, I decided to take a 12 month career break from working for Sports Scotland. Um, and my job is covered for 12 months. Uh, for me, it's a, a massive step because it puts me in a lot of financial uncertainty. I wasn't really prepared financially to do that, but it was that or skeleton you know it, it, it came to the point where I had to pick my career or skeleton and as important as my career is to me and as much as I love the job I can do that job in 10 years time I can't be an athlete in 10 years time or it would be a lot harder to be an athlete in 10 years time this opportunity is now so the decision was really very easy it's just working out how to manage that in my life going forward without a salary which I've become accustomed to um, so that was the decision made and I started my 12 month break from in October. Uh, so yeah, I've got, I've got a 12 month period really to decide where I'm going to go with the sport and hopefully um, I can be really confident that in 12 months I'm going to stick with the sport um, and can be successful in the sport. Mm -hmm.